Hi hey everybody, welcome to what we're doing next. It's uh, some of the DLC for Bioshock Infinite. I like Bioshock Infinite, uh, but the question probably that's going to be asked a lot is why the fuck am I doing the DLC? Uh, if you know me at all, I have very strong opinions on DLC. Um, I shouldn't have to explain myself, but I will, I guess, anyways, because whatever. Because I do what I want. Um, my, one of my siblings bought me the season pass for this game. I don't even know what the hell Clash in the Clouds is. I guess I'll figure that out later. Let's do Burial at Sea to start with. Um, one of my siblings bought me the season pass. Didn't know that I'm not, I don't really dig the DLC thing, but, you know, I, I like this game anyway, so I guess, you know, nice thought on her part. I was gonna do this for a stream, but I guess I'm not. So, uh, we can do 1999 mode again. Well, might as well. I cannot change. I don't give a shit. I managed to do blind 1999 anyway, so who cares? the sort who can afford to turn down legitimate work. <coughs> what do you want? How about we start with a light? Well, you got a name, miss? Elizabeth. You can call me Elizabeth. What can I do for you? There's a girl who needs to be found. Maybe you've seen her. This girl... This girl's dead. You know her. You'll see dozens of her type down by the docks or the slums in Apollo Square. Orphans. With Fontaine's charity shut. No place for them. But her you know. As I said, the girl's dead. Lost. Look, I don't know where you get... Lost isn't dead. Name your rate, I will pay you for this work. You'd do this one gratis, wouldn't you? I don't follow. Something tells me you will. Uh, what? These are the same characters. We know these characters. Oh, I'll time to pick up my- time to start loot whoring already. Oh, well that, uh, opened up my Steam overlay. Take all. I seem to walk very slowly. Crouching doesn't make it much better. I, I have the, I have this whole in private eye room for some reason. I want to take my fedora with me. Oh, I can't. Seems my instincts were correct. Where's Sally? I don't know, but I know someone who does. Follow me. I'm guessing this is alternate reality do it or whatever. Sander Cohen. Why even ask? Wait, wait a second. This is this is this is Rapture not totally fucked over by stuff. This girl to you. What I need from her is my business. But I know where to start looking. Something tells me a man with your particular talents could be useful. Good afternoon. People look normal, what the fuck? This crazy world. Oh, this is interesting. Rapture, luxury you've earned. Okay, I guess it's some alternate reality then. What do you want? And there's, there's a white guy doing a black man's shoes. It's reverse racism. Completely the opposite of the previous game we played. If we were all made from common clay, then Einstein would have remained a patent clerk. It's our responsibility to strive. Here, here. Can I not eat your little cakes? I want cakes. I'm looking around at, at New Rapture, Elizabeth. Don't get your panties in a bunch. I want to go here now. Give me a drink, bartender. He's a big fish in an awful small pond, you ask me. Anything you say, pal. If I was running things, I'd say. Why just one city? Why not two, eh? Why not three? What? People are nuts. How are you fellas doing? Pretty good, okay. 
Fine, let's continue. Wait, there's the missing girl again. Oh, we can we can actually sprint now. Hey, Fedora man. Little sisters, educational facility. Well, since we know the d deep and dark truth already of this place, this is gonna be creepy. Red means stop. Green means go. Fuck. This is the rule all little girls know. Why? What happened to these children? What are they? Where have you been? Cabin in Arcadia? Little sisters. Atom factories. It's grotesque. Sure. Hey, keep moving, buddy. Oh, he's not, he even has a security guy. Oh, that Fontaine. That naughty bloke. Is that why we came to Rapture? I could compromise in Red Hook. We're just men and women, Alan. You hold yourself to that standard, you'll never be happy. In what country is there a place for men like me? Men who refuse to say yes to the doubters and the parasites. Yes, yes, but even Andrew Ryan takes a vacation. Yeah, it, it, this game looks really pretty. I, I'll say that much. And Lizzie is just running through everything. And there's like these TV things. It's actually quite impressive. Come on, we haven't got all day. Oh look, there's a big daddy. What do they even look like under those suits? What do you mean? They're just some kind of machine. Why? Why do they have that ability? Ah, more Sender Cohen. I want to meet the guy. You should have to prove you're properly versed on a topic before you're allowed to vote on it. Otherwise, it's just a knee-jerk response from the uninformed. Does more harm than good. Who would judge that? A system like that? Having a benevolent dictatorship takes care of that. Benevolence isn't human nature. All my dollars. There we go. Oh, let's go loot these bags. Negative karma. On with it. Do you have any idea how valuable my time is? Ryan's been good to me. Few are the patrons who truly understand the struggle of the artist. But even I was a little leery when he shuttered Fontaine's business and sent that bald buck to a grave deep in the briny. But when Ryan buried all of Fontaine's pals in that department store, someone had to find a home for all those freshly minted orphans. And if I turned a dollar or two in the process, you can hardly blame me for doing well by doing good. For some reason, subtitles aren't on. Let me see. Oh, subtitles are on, so it just doesn't show for those, I guess. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to get like through this, like, and see all the dialogue, you know. We can go ahead and inherit the earth for all I care. He I'm looks fine, fine right here in Rapture. I got it firsthand. Looks a fella from the inside out. Is a damn thing a weapon or an oven? Works with mini rays or or microwaves? Oh, I can't remember. All I know is it sounds dreadful. <laughs> Don't laugh at me, you fuck. What do you want, Elizabeth? Fine, I'm just gonna fuck off about you then. You know, sweetie. Funny. What? You're not knowing about the little sisters. How long have you been in Rapture? Uh, let's just say I don't get out much. You've got eyes and ears, don't you? If I wanted to share my life story, Mr. DeWitt, I would write my memoirs. If I learned anything about Rapture, that it was a place where people understood to mind their own business. Where are we headed? The man we need to see is in the Garden of the Muses. How do you know? My sources are my own, Mr. DeWitt. If you have better information as to the whereabouts of your girl, I suggest you avail yourself of it. Okay, then. That's a very long-lasting cigarette you have. Oh, just fuck that button up, will you? Where are you taking me? When's the last time you saw Sally? What? She was taken from you, wasn't she? How do you know this? She was taken. Down at Surprise. You were playing the tables and... She disappeared. And? A cop friend of mine, Sullivan, says they found her floating in the docks. You see the body? Look. Did you see the body? 
This world values children, not childhood. There's a profit to be made and men who make it. I'm taking you to one of them. <laughs> Mr. DeWitt, you all right? I'm fine. Just get these spells sometimes. It'll pass. Refreshment, sir. Madam? We're fine, thanks. What? Oh, he's a Houdini splicer. This guy's fucking creepy. I went through basic with him. Decent sort. Ah, so they had a practical use for that teleporting thing. Goddamn splicers. Mr. DeWitt. I'll find my source inside of that club. Cold? What does that lunatic have to do with Sally? He even got the he's got these rabbit thingies. Let's see what's up here. You know, there's gotta be some cool stuff. Like that let's go to Visage. This is much larger than the other game too. Bonjour, signore. This is a much cooler underground underwater city. Uh, orange health. Oh, more health. Oh, uh, some more fedoras. Oh, money. Sign me the fuck up. Suchang observe strangest of coincidences. On the other side of a window, man in strange hat experimenting on Suchang's own creation. On plasmid. Man name of Fink. Outrage! Death of intellectual property! <sighs> but man name of a thing is no fool. Through addition of oxidizing agent, turns plasmid ingestible through stomach lining. Mr. Ryan very impressed with Su Chong's initiative. Theft of Come intellectual on. property. Two-way street. Interesting, so they brought back all the characters. A really nice music thing. Uh, can I can I not go past here? Nope. I don't I don't really want Sander Cohen's pieces. He's a bit he's a bit he's a bit crazy. Alright. Oh man, they'll make a new woman out of me. I would I would love that. That sounds fantastic. I just stopped paying attention to dialogue. I'm just kind of exploring now. And look, see, look, they have these tables with cakes all the time. Need to know theater, taking the taint out of fortune. We can play some slots. Fuck yeah, let's do that. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Oh. oh I got a bit of money from that. Quit while you're ahead. You, you, you shut the fuck up, Elizabeth. I'm gonna win. See, that one started on sevens. Okay, fine. Let's go. Let's go look at this. Are you in the know? You've doubtlessly sampled products from Fontaine Futuristics, but do you know why Ryan Industries saved it? Frank Fontaine, business leader and benefactor of mankind, or was he the best friend the parasite ever had? Were you aware his businesses were a front for a smuggling ring? And were you also fooled by his supposed charity work? At his free clinic, patients became test subjects, and his orphanages were places that children disappeared into and never came out. Once they learned the truth, Rapture's Central Council called for the arrest of Fontaine Futuristic's owner. But a coward to the end, Fontaine found a hail of bullets preferable to facing justice. The council asked that Ryan Industries assume the burden of stewardship of Fontaine's ill-gotten assets. And Andrew Ryan accepted that burden for the people of Rapture. Now all citizens can enjoy these products free of criminal taint. Now you know. So there's obviously some propaganda going on. Obviously, I didn't win anything here. 
Why are you wasting your time with that one? Whatever. Oh, let's go see what's in. Um... All that unpleasantness with Fontaine seems so far behind us, man. I hope all of this crowd are enjoying themselves. Locked up forever. Artist struggle. Oh, well, let's go look at some art. Mm, that's pretty artsy. Please come in. Oh, be quiet. If there's anything I can do. Yeah, do you have any cool goodies for me? No, clearly not. Well, that's that's pretty art, I'll say. I guess fine. I'll go see what Center Cohen wants. Or we could go fucking in here. Ah, Mr. Dewitt, back again. Great, you're going through. It looks like you'll need an advance on your fee. Oh. I was telling all this keep it down there, right? About the dispersions. Oh, look, we can we can see some more. Need to know theater. The greatness of Dr. Tenenbaum. Sure, let's go see Dr. Tenenbaum. I have all the worst habits. I'm like drinking and gambling. Are you in the know? Innovation and competition are what fuel rapture. But that fuel can be diluted with rumor or flat out lies. The rumor monger asks, what are these so-called splicing side effects? Well, take a look around you. Do you see anything wrong with your neighbor? The rumor monger asks, why has Tenenbaum withdrawn from the public's eye? Dr. Tenenbaum is a scientific mind unparalleled, even in rapture. She's no doubt in her lab, toiling away at her next great innovation. I heard she was in cahoots with Fontaine. Merely slander from jealous naysayers. Remember, rapture competes through innovation, not cheap shots. Bridget Tenenbaum is a woman who represents the best of science and industry. In other words, she's a rapture gal. Now you know. I love knowing. This reminds me of, like, Starship Troopers. My desire to know more. That kind of shit. Guten Tag, Herr Schmidt. Herr Schmidt? I, oh, man, I can talk Portuguese. No, it's German, I know. The, the Golden Rapture. Look, there's so many fucking stores here. A fine day to you both. Can I steal stuff? Can we play Payday to Heist now? Uh, no. Mostly, mostly because cloakers with uh, with plasmids freak me the fuck out. The bouncer. I, we're going just through all this shit, and we're not progressing with the story at all. Whatever. Let's just read all this shit. So like taking a full twenty minutes to do all this. Are you in the know? The big daddy may look imposing, but he's a gentle giant. Do you know all he does for Rapture? These metal gents are the hands that maintain Rapture, digging the foundation out of the seabed and guiding structural supports into place. Where do these metal mysteries come from? Sorry, chum, that's a Ryan Industries trade secret. Now you know. The prisoners, you know that. Oh, fucking hell, there's so much here, why? Am I gonna be like shooting my way out of this the entire time? How much content did they put in here? Because like now I just I want to look at everything. I don't think these supermen know the meaning of the word. Because yeah, everybody's really snobby in Rapture. Because yeah, I'm gonna miss this one. I found it. Two zero seven six. I had all of these visions before coming down here of Utopia. Every man with his hand on the great chain, the wheel of progress turning. Every cliche you can imagine. And what is the first thing that happens when I open up shop? Petty thievery. Now I have to lock all my valuables in the closet. Remember 2076. It's the problem with coming to Utopia, is that it still has the people. Where's the closet? Oh, I guess that's that's his house. That's what? 
parasites want you. Well, I, I have no idea where the closet is. I probably missed it. How do they work? Something about stem cells. I love stem cells. I, I, I really do feel like I'm missing it. I don't know. I, I guess I'm not. Yeah, okay. There's nothing here that looks like a closet. Don't blame me if I did miss it. I mean, I'm sure if I find it, I'll be like, you know, it'll be very noticeable. There is so much in this fucking place. Oh, wait. Two, zero, seven. Who is it? Oh, okay. Oh, wait. Six. Oh, here we go. We did find it. I did not casual this time. That's all the money. Oh, here we go. When Ryan take over Fontaine Futuristics, seen all the terrible violence. Splices burning each other to bits. The lucky ones not killed, sent to department to stop prison instead. Sujong think he dead man too. But then, Ryan comes to Sujong and says, Sujong want to be buried in filthy store, or Sujong want to make a good salary, work for Ryan. How much salary? Asks Su Jong. This Ryan find very funny. Okay, there's no money in here. I feel like this game lied to me. It's temporary. Temporary. Just like. All right. Well, I guess we're now gonna go see Doctor Su Chong, but that would be next time, because we actually ran out of time looking at all this shit. Holy fuck! Let's look at this creepy dude. All right. See you later, guys.